Okay, here we go. Hello. Welcome to uh, a short and sweet Simon Plays. Which I'm I'm playing a little bit of Dark Spore here. These are my heroes. Look at them. Aren't they lovely? These are my favourite ones. Um, Dark Spore is it's a new Maxis game. It's based on their Spore game that was released uh, three years ago now, I think. It was a bit of a disappointing game, I'll be honest with you. It was very hyped up. And so they created another special game out of it. Which is Dark Spore. Look at this little fella here. This is my favourite Dark Spore creature. It's like a, a spidery thing that shoots like lasers out of that top bit. And it's got these amazing AoEs. It's a necro monster, so it uses all these weird sort of shadowy abilities. Anyway, shall I actually like show some proper gameplay? I'll do a single player thing, shall I? Navigation should take me there. I'll do a quick campaign. I'll go back one, so I don't get my ass completely kicked. Doing single player, you can um, play with your friends. I don't have any, so I'm just playing by myself. Um, oh, okay, this is pretty bad because two of my little dark spores are going to take double damage. Well, this is doomed to fail from the start. Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Okay, we've shown a, a bit of this gameplay of, of Dark Spore before, uh, during the beta, but now it's in release. I'm going to show you what it's like. What well, I'm going to show you. Um, it's pretty much a sort of futuristic-y hack and slash game, a lot like Diablo and um, Torchlight, only it's set in the future in space and it's got weird creatures it's a bit like Pokemon in that there's all of these weird creatures that you have to collect and you pick up loads of random loot there's one over, there's a bit of loot over there can you see that? there this one here a quantum transponder I've no idea what one of those is My hero's sort of getting his ass kicked there. Pick up a health thing. I'm still a bit sniffly. I've still got a bit of a cold. If only I was a robot like this guy, I'd never have a cold. Look at him, isn't he cool? It's like the Ed thing from Robocop. So, um... This guy has, like, heat-seeking missiles. If I fire them over there, they sort of swerve... well okay that didn't swerve <laughs> that didn't work out so well here we go Look, they just automatically go towards enemies well some of them do that's like a volley thing that you can shoot up I have to explain it in terms that I understand so I'm referencing uh, hunter abilities in World of Warcraft <laughs> it's like volley. You have access to your um, your other monster's abilities over here. So that's actually um, this guy's ability. But I can use it on a different hero. I call them heroes. Like I'm playing Hon or something. There's a cooldown to switching between the three in your squad. So now I can change to my favourite the spidery thing. The spider thing is brilliant because you can teleport in and then AOE the crap out of stuff. You also have this sort of powerful Ooh. ranged ability that sort of just shot in a circle then because um, everything was dead. Some more loot here. The uh, things that look like DNA is actually DNA. It's sort of like the in-game currency. 
in order to um, like buy upgrades and all sorts of crap. I think you need to use DNA to equip items, but it's fairly cheap. Here we go, I'm going to teleport into a bunch of stuff. AoE. Look at that, isn't it brilliant? Uh, this is sort of like a, a trap that you're stuck in, so it closes behind you and you have all these monsters that you have to kill in order to escape. Uh. The objective there, which just came up, 25% of objects destroyed. Um, in order to get medals, which give you better chance of getting items, I think, you have to complete these objectives. Um, Oh, I just dinged. There, level 12. Grats me. The kind of th one of the things I like about these sort of games is you can just randomly sort of mash buttons. Quiet woman. You can randomly <laughs> mash buttons and uh you can just sort of play it mindlessly if you choose to. Although there is a chance that you will like die. This is like hyper mode. Overdrive which everything goes a bit faster, you can shoot things faster, you do more damage. It's pretty cool. So it's not the most it's not the most complicated game in the world, and that's probably why I like it. That's why I like this genre. Now I'm low on health so I'm gonna switch. It's my robot guy. And actually not do as much damage as the other guy did. Am I even shooting that properly? Oh god, this is going to take all day. Look at this. Just volley him a bit. There we go, that's a carry. I can use that ability from the spider. Ooh, loots. A flipper! They call him Flipper! Flipper! Faster than light! This guy sucks, he's not doing any damage at all, is he? Look at this. This is what it's all about. Here we go, that's better. Obviously, my robot, Robocopy thing, isn't very well geared. Um, oh, these are little extra things that you get that just stick around for the level that you're on. Um, I can have up to four of them. Just gives you little bonuses. Overdrive not charged. Oh, I accidentally pressed the, the overdrive hyper button. <laughs> overdrive not charged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I overdrive okay. not charged. What? Overdrive not yeah, charged. Well, I'm overdrive still not charged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that told me. Oh dear. Oh. oh, I love these games. Look how violent everything is. You just shoot stuff. It's just a, a click fest. That's how I like to see this sort of genre. The hack and slashy thing. You just click the hell out of your mouse. Get, give yourself a bit of repetitive strain injury. But it's worth it for the perps, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well I should probably go to the um, the crux of the matter, why people have actually tuned into the video in the first place. This is the giveaway. Yes, the Yogs cast are giving away four copies of Dark Spore. Well, not really actual physical copies, they're, uh, they're game keys. Because, you know, we're in the uh, the 21st century here. Um, keys were given us to, um, personally given to us by the, um, the lead designer of Dark Spore himself. A lovely man called, uh, called Paul. Someone or other. What's his name? I'm checking his name. Please don't kill me. Paul Sotosanti. Um... He's given us some keys that we're going to give away. In, a ch in order to get a chance to win, if you actually have watched this video and didn't just look at the description below, you uh, <laughs> you click the link below in the video description 
which will take us to our forums. Ah! And once at the forums, you answer a very simple question. It's all about dwarves. Why? Why is it a question about dwarves? There aren't any dwarves in Dark Spore, Simon. Why? Why is the question about dwarves? That's a bit off topic. Well, it just is about dwarves, okay? I like dwarves. So the question's about dwarves. You have to get the question right in order to get a chance to win. And... Oh! A blue! Woo! And four people at random will be picked. And they will be contacted in, um, I think, three days' time from when this video goes up. And we'll announce the winners on our Facebook, I dare say, and on the forums. So keep an eye out on there. Um, and you lucky, lucky four people will each receive a, a key to this awesome game. Look at this. You just kill stuff, you get perps. Who doesn't want to play a game like this? It's ownage. Um, so yeah, in order to win, in order to answer the question, you have to be signed up for our forums, I'll be straight with you. The whole point of this giveaway is, uh, is so we get more people involved in our community, on our forums. That's my, my top secret plan. That's the whole reason that I'm doing this video. Because people who get involved in our forums have produced some awesome stuff for us, and have really helped us and it's cool because you get to talk with other people who like the Yogs cast and who doesn't want to do that oh god see I was in trouble there until I switched to my favourite and this thing's just kicking everything's ass. look at this who doesn't want to play like a death spider a glowing purple Death Spider with a big cannon on its back. With for some reason he's got two sets of wings, but don't worry about that too much. Just deal with it, you know. It's no deal. <laughs> How far along am I? Am I actually at the end of this thing yet? Let's see. Oh, I think I've got a ways to go yet. Let's see just how far I can get. Pew pew! So if you like games like Torchlight and Diablo, you're gonna love this game. I mean look at this, look at that, wasn't that just ridiculous? Look at this, there's things exploding everywhere. Oh that thing's a bit tough. There we go. I'll just AoE this crap. I'm nearly dead. Not enough health things have dropped. There's a bit of a problem. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh my god. See, this is the problem. I'm I'm taking twice as much damage as I should. Oh! Oh! Quick swap. Did you like that ninja swapping? Oh, goodness. Oh, I accidentally fired that in the wrong place. Oh, why won't you die? Why are there so many monsters? Oh, goodness gracious. I can't keep up. Is that thing lit up yet? There we go. Whew! I think I might be near the end. Oh god, yeah, here we go. Now what I need to do is desperately pick up these health things. Actually, you can... Oh! Right, that's my shield that makes me immune to damage. I click on my health obelisk to recharge my health. So you've got to think strategically. Now I'm going to look for the other health obelisk so I don't embarrass myself by dying as like hundreds of thousands of people watch this video there it is right swap to the pro hero 
Recharge health. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Right. I'm going to kill this wave and then the boss should appear. Alright. I don't want a bit spaced out, these guys. Which doesn't help if you're. S oh! Flip! Ping! How? If you're mainly AoE, it's not good. Oh god! It's man randomly hit buttons. Oh god! I'm taking so much damage. Heavens above. Okay. Alright, I need to be careful here. Where's the big boss thing? Oh. Oh, it's like me! Mummy? Mummy? <laughs> it's like me! Oh, shit. Let's change here real quick. Okay, and hit the big mash button. Okay, overcharge. Overdrive, whatever. Whatever. Same thing. Let's kill this bloody thing. Come on. Come here. Come here. There we go. That's how it's done. See, I'm quite good at these sort of games. Games in which you literally just click your fingers quickly. Oh, crumbs. Right, AoE. Oh god! No! This is bad! This is bad! No! Now, what was it I just said? I'm good at these kind of games. <laughs> well, I killed the boss. I kind of didn't realise that there was another, like... <laughs> Bugger's just out of range. I didn't realise there was another wave of horde coming. So I got a bit cocky. Yeah. Threat neutralized. Well there we go. I got there. I mean good luck with the giveaway. I hope that you um well you can't all win. Only four of you can win. But good luck anyway. Say goodbye, weird horrible monster dog thing. Face the camera. What are you doing? Face the camera. Goodbye! There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Hello! Let's test this audio and just see how I sound. Shall I say some peas? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and then sizzled some sausages all over his face.